hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Ritesh and I'm back with another tutorial so in this one we are going to model this tower and for the proportion reference I'm going to take a character model from Maya's library so if you go to generate and get brush here in the modeling section go to this sculpting base meshes and I'll take this bipad and this human body reference you can also use any 3d model you can find on the internet for the reference and i'll just change the grid settings a little bit also go to your perspective camera and i'll change the clip planes so that we have a better control of our camera now i'll just place this here on the side and put this in a layer so if you select a model and click on this icon it will create a new layer and add that object to that layer and now you can freeze it so that it doesn't get selected now i'm going to start with a cube to create the structure of this tower i'm going to change the width let's take something like and i'll increase the height To something like thousand or let's keep it thousand for now and I'll place this here so first I'll just delete these faces and now we need to create these section so i'll just add a split and repeat on four side like this now we can select all the edges we just added and we can bevel to create this segment you can increase or decrease the direction and now what we need to do is i'm going to select all the faces like this and we're going to press ctrl e and intrude it like this just a little bit to something like minus 30 and uh, now we can delete all the extra faces on the top and the bottom and just delete now i'll just take a multi cut tool or the insert edge loop tool to create a segment for the door so i'll just take insert edge loop tool and uh, now that we have our character here so now we can easily create the segment for the door with proper proportion so if the height of our character is this much we should add the edge here like this we need to select this edge again split one more bevel to 0 0.6 or 0 0.55 and i'll again select this you can also press shift and drag this like this to intrude it again delete this face and now we can also delete this one now we have this uh, frame for the door 
and the same thing i'm going to repeat here i'll just select this and bevel and i'll pull this up like this and one more pull this up now what we need to do is that i'll just go to right view i'll take a cylinder bring this out change the radius to something like this for now and i'm going to right view again rotate it bring this up and i'll just change the subdivision to something like 14 increase the radius one more time like this I'm going to go to face mode and select half of it. Select this border edge. Pull this down like this and extrude. I'm going to fill this gap for now. You don't have to connect it but what i'm going to do is i'm going to place this inside like this i'm going to select these two go to mesh combine and use this difference I'm going to go to edit delete by type history and now we have this kind of shape here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these faces for now and select this edge pull this inside a little bit further like this and i think we need to add one edge here like this and another one here so let's select this and i'm going to place it here same thing with this edge select it press v to snap it to the points and i'm going to select the vertices here and then merge now we are good to go and as for this i'll just connect these two vertices with connect tool and delete this edge and for this part i'll take multi cut tool and connect all these parts like this we also need to add one more edge for the side so i'll just add one more like this and now we need to remove these edges so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select everything then press ctrl and deselect this edge till here like this and now we have only selected these edges so i'm going to delete them 
and now i'll just select this and snap to point like this now let's go to vertex mode select this and target weld to this one same thing here and now we are done with this part now we have created the frame for the window and the door now we need to add this detail on the sides so i'm going to take a pipe bring this out change the radius to something like 50 or 100 for now i think 50 would be fine height to just 60 for now and increase the thickness to 25 go to front view and uh, rotate this bring this up here and now you can increase the radius a little bit more to something like this this looks fine maybe 115 and i'm going to change the thickness let's take 50 maybe a little bit more subdivisions and i'll just go to face mode select these faces delete i'm going to select these border edges extrude a little bit and then extrude one more time till the end like this as for these faces we extruded i'm going to select them go to front view again and press ctrl e add a little bit of thickness like this go to right view wireframe mode place this here like this Now to place it on the other side, I'm going to select this, go to top view, change the pivot to the center of the grid, control D to duplicate and rotate it like this. now as for this part i'm going to go to edge mode select this extrude a little bit then go to face mode and i'll extrude add some thickness like this and now we can work on the top and for the top part what i'm going to do is i'll take a cube first for the top view increase the 
width and depth maybe a little bit more like this make sure it's on the top so i'll just place it here and now for this one i'll just take another cube or you can duplicate this one place it here scale it like this go to right view pull this up and I'll add a edge here. Go to vertex mode, pull these up to make this triangular shape like this. One more edge here. And scale this. Press Ctrl B to bevel. Select this entire face and include it a little bit with some offset. For top view. Go to wireframe mode and change the pivot to the center of the grid. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and Shift D to duplicate with transformation. Like this. Now, for these two, I'll just go to front view. I'll combine them for now. Go to vertex mode, select all the top vertices and push them down like this to align and also I'll just select the vertices here press V and snap them till here like this and align them and I'm going to repeat the same thing here like this and as for these strips what i'm going to do is i will just take another cube pull this up bring this out scale it a little go to right view place it here like this Place the vertices up there. These ones down here. Now select the faces on the top and the bottom. Delete. I'm going to select these two edges. Bevel like this and place this here like this 
go to right view again create a duplicate place this one here press shift t to duplicate again and with this one i'll just pull this up and now you can place all three on all side so i'll just select these three then combine go to top view go to wireframe change the pivot to the center of the grid so that we can easily duplicate them press ctrl d rotate press shift d to rotate with transformation and for the alignment i'll just select these scale them down like this and press v to snap it to the point like this same thing here check the vertices first scale then press and hold v snap them here and we are good to go So this is our block out for the tower. Now in the next one, what we are going to do is that we're going to create the window door and the roof. So for this video, I'm going to leave it here and finish in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you want to get the reference, then it will be available in my discord server. All the links are in the description so go check it out you can also follow me on the instagram and join my discord server so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one